everybody. I uh, have decided to put up a little paper piecing tutorial for you guys who are interested in doing this technique. Um, we're going to start off with a very basic pattern. It's a, uh, a three piece that is going to go into a, a star. There's a, it's called a couple different names. Um, Judy star is my favorite, of course, as you can see. And so we'll be making four of these pieces uh, to go into the star. But today I'm just going to show you how to navigate using um, your numbers and uh, how to properly match up for it. So as you can see, paper piecing has numbers on it. And um, one, two, and three, and that's the order we're going to lay down our fabric. So I'm going to start by flipping this over to the wrong side because we are going to be sewing on the other side. And if you have paper piecing paper available to you, I highly recommend using it. It tears away easier than normal paper does. So hopefully you can see this. I've got some light behind it. I can see the lines for piece number one. So I am going to take my number one piece, which is the background, and I'm going to place it on. Now notice I've cut my pieces a lot bigger than the uh, lines. And that's because that's going to give me some wiggle room. So we're going to lay that down just like that, right side down. If you're using a regular uh, fabric, I'm using batik, so it's not too big of a deal. The next spot we have is number two. And I'm going to lay that down. And I'm using this blue as my piece number two. And I'm going to go to the line that we're going to sew on. So the line that is shared between one and two, which is right here. So that's going to be my flip point. Okay. So I'm going to take my blue piece and I'm going to put it down so it goes over the line about a quarter of an inch. Doesn't have to be precise. Here's where it matters. We're going to kind of hold my finger where that line is and make sure it covers all of the solid lines that are heading. So we can, you can see you can see the solid lines here, but we want to make sure it's covering all this number two piece. Okay? This is why we cut a lot bigger. Paper piecing allows you to do very intricate patterns, but you will, you won't you'll feel like you're wasting fabric, but as beginners, that's okay. Okay, so now we are going to sew this down, okay? So we're going to come over to the sewing machine. You want a small stitch length, 1.8, which is what I recommend using for quilting anyway. We're gonna take it, flip it, okay? Now, I like to start off of the paper, so I'm going to start at this corner. Notice this pattern has the quarter inch built into it already, okay? That's usually denoted by these dotted lines, so don't cut those off when you're cutting out your pieces. And I use just, try not to talk too close to the camera, I like to use just a, a regular A foot. My A foot has a nice valley right here, and this is what I lay my line in. I'm going to put my needle down. The control's plugged in for some reason. And I'm just going to sew down till I get to the line. Whoop. If you go over, no big deal. <laughs> and I like to do a little back stitch just to hold it, okay? Now, we're going to take this and flip it before we cut anything. Make sure you're covering all of that two space. And then we're going to go over, finger press, and cut. Okay, so we're going to cut off this excess fabric that we just sewed. So what I like to do is fold the paper back. You can see? And you can take a rotary 
or we can just cut it. Eighth to a quarter inch. Doesn't have to be real specific because no one's gonna look at the back except for you. You can lie to yourself and tell you that the, there's all perfect, perfect seams on the back of this. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna flip it back over. Okay, now you can take this to the ironing board or you can finger press this. If you're in a classroom uh, situation, finger pressing is kind of the only option. I prefer an iron, but I'm just taking my finger and rubbing it. I'm not rubbing the fabric like this, I'm rubbing the seam. Okay, we don't want to stretch it. And I don't have any of my green pieces I'm supposed to have. Oh no, wait, so it's that purple. Okay. So this is color number three. Wild, right? And it's gonna go on this big piece, okay? So I am going to flip over my piece, and you can tell from the seam and uh, flipping down where this line is, and we want it to go down on that line. Now, remember, when you're putting this down, you wanna go by the flip line. So if you go by, you know, we're so used to having everything square, if we square it, then it's not gonna flip correctly. Forget about the square. Think about this line that's right here, okay? So when I put this down, I'm gonna flip it up, make sure I've got it covering everything, and you can trim. In fact, let me show you how to do that. You can take your scissors. Just be careful. You don't trim it too much. Okay. So now we have a kind of a line to go through here. So we're going to put this down. Make sure it's covering both the ends. This is why I cut these pieces nice and big for beginners, because there's no reason why we should make this. We're just learning the technique. We're not, you know, trying to make it super difficult. Okay. All right, everything looks good. You can pin this stuff into place. You can pin through the paper, that's fine. So we're going to take this over to the uh, sewing machine. You can pin if you have, if you think you're having a lot of problem with stuff sliding around. And when you get into the more intricate pieces, um, you will want to notice I, ac I accidentally cut my my piece too small, but I know there's going to be a seam allowance there. So okay. You can rip out in paper piecing. Don't think you can't. Your paper might be a little raggedy, but okay. Now we're gonna take this over and trim it down. Flip it over. And uh, I'm not gonna take the paper off yet. I'm actually going to square this up. This is where paper piecing gets really nice and precise. I don't know where my small ruler is, so. On this solid line, I'm gonna lay down and I'm gonna put my quarter inch mark on the solid line and I'm gonna trim. And I'm gonna do it on all four. I'm not gonna trim on the dotted line because sometimes the printer can get a little skewed and we don't get the proper uh, seam allowance that we're supposed to have. So that's why I 
like to use my own methods. I remember this one, I, this side I trimmed off too much, but I still have a nice solid line, so I can still put in a quarter inch seam allowance. Okay. There's my piece. Okay, that's the end of my paper piecing video. Remember guys, this is for beginners, so be easy on yourself. It's okay to mess up when you're cutting those pieces. Cut them bigger than they should be. And definitely check out how to cut shapes for paper piecing. That's coming up next. Uh, if you like the videos, please check out my other videos. And if you like me, please subscribe to me. And I will see you guys for the next lesson.